Welcome everyone to Glam It Up, brought to you by Live and Talented. I know we've been bringing you a lot of feminine looks lately, but we're not forgetting about all of you gentlemen out there. We actually have something very special just for you tonight, and tonight's guest is Mr. Joseph. Thank you for joining us. How are you today? I'm doing fine. Thank you for inviting me. No, thank you. It's great to have you. You know, all the segments that we've been running have been, you know, dresses and more like girly boutiques and stuff like right, that. Right. So I'm very excited for this one because yes. I feel like I'm even going to learn a lot. And just the couple of minutes that I've gotten to know you here, I've already learned a lot of things that hopefully we'll be able to pass yes. on to our guests. So thank you so much. Yes. We're welcome. so looking forward to this. And you brought some bow ties for us today, right? Yes, I did. And they are Zion's bow ties. Yes? Yes. Perfect. And these bow ties, did you make them yourself? I did with the help of my son. Nice. So they're handmade? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. And how long does it take to create a bow tie? Um, it depends. Self tied bow ties for me takes a little longer because I want to make sure the curves are, are right. Um, but a pre tied bow tie doesn't take me that long. Maybe mm, an hour, depends, give or take. Not so bad. I like it. It sounds a lot easier than making a full ball gown, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> no, but super excited to, to see what you've shown us, where you brought here to show us today, I'm sorry. But I do want to ask, why was it that you decided to begin this project? Well, I started Zion's Bow Ties back in 2014, um, after my son was born, and I wanted to build a relationship between my son and I, a relationship that I didn't have with my father. And so it's been going well thus far. I love it and it yes. has you know it's something that you both enjoy and you yes. have a connection to and of course you're bringing something extra to the community right. so yeah. thank you for that absolutely love it yes. and welcome. before we bring out our models I do have to put them on the spot because today these people showered and they're normally the people that you see behind the, that actually you don't see because they're always behind the camera so we have our crew members modeling for us today That's awesome. so we're gonna That's bring awesome. out our first model of the night and his name is Raul Raul if you can come out and join us and show us how you actually shower today there's no basketball shorts or caps now tell us about the bow tie that Raul is wearing so the thing, unique thing about this bow tie, it is a bow tie that I made from a shirt. Oh wow! So most of my material I would get like from the fabric store offline, um, but this bow tie is unique because I made it from a shirt. The shirt was like 3x, and I was saying to myself, I can't wear this, but I will make a bow tie out of it. And so um, I love paisley. I love uh, red is my favorite color, um, but you know I love all colors. Uh, so this this is the unique thing about this bow tie, and it's a self-tie bow tie. Wow, very cool. I mean, I don't know much about bow ties, but just the fact that you said, you know, it's actually made from a shirt, it's yes. not just fabric that you went out and right. bought, that yeah. makes it so special and unique. So, Raul, you better take care of that and, <laughs> you know, not get your, your cologne on there because we want to give it back without, you know, any issues. So thank you, Raul, for joining thank us. Thank you, Raul. And our next model, yes. another one of our crew members who also decided to shower today, no basketball shorts or anything. Cesar, come out here, please. You see, I told you guys, they look completely different. If only people <laughs> at home could see what these guys look like, normally behind the scenes. <laughs> so tell us about this bow tie. So it's an awesome, good look. Um, so this bow tie, I love roses. Um, I love roses. And so this bow tie, I got this bow tie or this fabric from a fabric store. Um, but I like it when I go and shop where I, this fabric was like the last fabric that they had. So bow ties like this, when I present it online, it's like, this is the last. So, you know, you might want to get it because once it's gone, it's gone. Um, but roses to a guy, uh, you know, most guys may not wear floral um, designs, but it makes a guy stand out. Definitely. I definitely agree. And I, I think it looks great. You know, I didn't, I never thought about it. Normally I would see guys wearing bow ties that were just, you know, black or right. very plain right. colors. So seeing all these patterns and, and that they have a story, your, your right. bow ties have a story. I yes. mean, I think that is absolutely awesome. Thank you, Cesar. You can go back to your basketball shorts now. Just kidding. We need to bring you back in a little bit. <laughs> but our next model is... We have Chris. Chris, if you can come out here and join us. And 
look at that, he actually did his hair. Just kidding, you actually do your hair every day. But the basketball shorts aren't there or the, the cap, so thank you. Tell us about this bow tie. So this bow tie is like, is a Scottish plaid design. Uh, so as you notice, I like paisley, I like floral designs, and I like plaid. For some reason, somewhere in my life, <laughs> plaid just attached itself to me. But plaid can be um, very soothing. You know, um, I, I say it's a Scottish blend, and um, it gives a, a, a different touch uh, to the design. Yeah, definitely. I definitely do agree, and I love it. And you know, while we have Chris here, yes. I learned something today, and what? I think everyone here learned something today too. Tell okay. us about the vest and the whole okay. thing about not buttoning the last button. Okay, so we say vest in Europe and other places. They call it call it a waistcoat. Okay. Okay, so with a waistcoat or a vest, along with a blazer, you never should button the last button of the, of the, the, um, the vest or uh, the blazer because when you sit down, it will cause you, like, I, like I'm sitting now, it will cause the vest or the blazer to um, present a, a flow, you know. So you want, I mean, imagine sitting for a period of time and you like, it's like your 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 gut is is challenged. Yeah. You know? So you want an even flow, um, and it just presents a, a, a more neat appearance while you're sitting. So you never should uh, button the last button of the of the vest. Definitely. You see, Chris, we learn something new every single day. So next time we go out on a date, do not button that last button because then you're gonna look like you're a little bit bloated and you just need to go to the restroom. <laughs> so we learned a lesson today. Thank you for joining us. And while we get ready to bring our models back and they can go change their bow ties. I do want to ask you, you have more than bow ties in your online store, so tell yes. us about that. Yes, yeah, so we have bow ties, lapel pins, pocket squares. As you notice, I'm wearing a Zion's bow ties lapel button. So um, we also have design masks. Nice. So you can also get your mask from us, a designer mask that goes along with your outfit. And I chose to wear uh, a plaid or a different color um, flat hat with a, uh, a mask and my bow tie. I, um, I, I try not to, to get away from different, it's, it's okay to mix and match colors because that gives a unique version of yourself. Yeah, definitely. I love it. So I love that you have variety. It's yes. not just bow ties. And of course, everyone right now with COVID-19, we all want to feel safe and protected. Right, right. So they can also yes. go and get their masks with you and feel, right. you know, like they're in style. Right. And I'm assuming, is it just masks for males or do you have for females or for kids? Right. How is that? So we have masks for, you know, men, women, boys and girls uh, with the right sizes. Uh, most sizes fit most. most but there are some, some occasions where I'll ask the person their, um, their facial structure, their sides, neck size, not neck size, I'm sorry, um, their size of their face, so that the mask can fit properly. Right, perfect, I love that. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our next model. I think the boys are ready back there. So we're gonna call out Mr. Raul. Raul, let's see what you have for us. All right. Joseph. It's a little bit different than what he was wearing earlier, but of course the bow tie yes. is the main thing in this outfit. So tell us about it. So here we have another plaid bow tie. I love plaid, paisley, and floral design. I get, I guess that was like a, a signature of mine. But I think guys look good. Every guy should try out a bow tie, especially a self-tie bow tie. So um, Raul has a self-tie bow tie on plaid with black, gray, and red. Um, he's also matching his uh, tattoo design that has the redness. So whenever I design a bow tie for someone, I try to um, cause what, they, what, what they're all about to be brought out by the bow tie. Bow ties are an, an attention gatherer. Definitely. It will draw attention to you. Yeah, definitely. You see, I keep learning things here. You know, I would have yes. never guessed that there's so much that can go into a bow tie. To me, yes. like I said, it was just the plain black bow tie and that was it. Right. But you've definitely changed my perspective and I think I'm becoming a fan of the plaid ones. So yes. far, I think those are my favorite ones. Yes. Yes. But thank you, Raul. 
Thank you Thank so you, much. Ryan. And now we're gonna bring out another one of our crew members, AKA models, who of course did shower. Um, we're gonna bring out Cesar. Cesar, if you can come out and join us now. This is a different, very different look. Um, so tell us about this one. So Zion's bow ties is all about bringing out the dapper in any guy. You can have any um, type of, uh, so here we have our, our model, he has jeans on, right? So my bow ties are not meant for a guy to be formal, uh, casual. It could be the street look, have a street look about him. Uh, they go with any type of, of style that you have. Definitely. I don't want to take away from what you're already already <laughs> doing, you know? No, definitely. And like you said, this is kind of like a, a semi-formal or more casual look. Yes. But the bow tie adds a lot to it and it makes it a little yes. bit more classier. Yes. He looks clean. Right. And I'm going to put Cesar on the spot here because you did also mention that you make bow ties for pets as well, correct? I do. For dogs. I do. So Cesar, now you can go ahead and buy a bow tie for Sparky and Lucky, who your mom told me you have at home. So of course, so tell us a little bit about that. So I started making bow ties for pets. I have a, a Yorkshire Terror, and there was a, a local um, veterinarian who had me to make a bow tie for a cat. And after she had me to make a bow tie for a cat, I was like, why not? I'm gonna continue to make more bow ties for pets. Right, why not? So next time I see Cesar, I would love to see him matching with Sparky and Lucky, of course, right? Because <laughs> why not? But not? our Why last model here joining us today is going to be Chris. Chris, if you can come out here now. Yeah. So, uh, when I started, like I said, in 2014 making bow ties, it was a connection I was building with my son. And, you know, you don't see a lot of men wearing bow ties. But because of, due to the request of our customers, uh, I was asked to make some neckties because you know, that's one customer that I would not have. So I started making um, neckties to accommodate our customers. So this, this bow tie we have, or actually, I'm sorry, this necktie we have here, uh, my favorite color red, and I don't try to make all of it, you know. <laughs> it's but, not on purpose. But, you know, it's like subconsciously I'm doing this. But we have a floral design. Um, the background is red with um, a floral design on it. And it goes like, man, this guy is sharp. Yeah, definitely. I definitely do like the look, and I think I I can picture this whole outfit, but I would have never imagined it with that tie. Yes. But that tie definitely brings so much into yes. this outfit, and it, it speaks a lot, because yes. obviously what people wear say a lot about a person. Right. So I definitely love that. Thank you, Chris. You're totally rocking it. And to all of our models out there, I know you guys are gonna watch it later on, but make sure to keep these looks going. Yes. So, you know, my eyes don't get watery when you guys come in here <laughs> in your basketball shorts from like practice or, or, you know, from sweating and stuff. Just kidding. You guys are awesome. We love you. But thank you, Chris. And thank you, Chris. You're a man of all traits, Joseph. You know, you make a lot of different things. And you also mentioned you made this vest, right? Yes, I did. I made this vest. Um, Ooh, maybe like three years ago. Uh, I was going to make a mask to match it, but a lot of times we should not have, you know, articles of clothing that are match, matching. We should switch them up, mis mismatch, you know. Uh, as I wore the mask that does not go with my hat or my vest, but the color, you can kind of match some of the colors here and there, but not the same pattern. Yeah, definitely. And you definitely have your own style and I absolutely love it. Yes, and you have you. so many different things. So if people want to find you and they want to buy bow ties or any other things that you have that you offer, where can they find this stuff? So you can find us on Instagram at Zions underscore bow underscore ties or um, the internet at ZionsBowTies.com. Perfect. So you heard the man. He has a lot of great things. And of course, if I were to come to you and say, I want a bow tie with a specific pattern on it, would you be able to do it? We can figure something out. Perfect. We All right. Figure well, something out. you heard the man. You should definitely go ahead and check out Zion's bow ties. Thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. And of course, thank you all at home for sticking with us here at Glam It Up. And now let's see what comes next.